I'll just cut that in. Yes, like, okay. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. We're cutting that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to, you've probably seen it on Twitter. Uh, you're hawking a fat one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, him, he's saying it? No, I'm... It's like Lowe's times Carhartt <laughs> times Nesquik <laughs> times the Apple. Released by Combs de Gargon's shirt. I'm biking, I'm biking, I'm biking, I'm biking. I'm bike. Seems personal, episode three. All right, guys, welcome to our Seems Personal podcast. Um, we're in a new setting right now. I, I like this. I mean, it's a little muggy, but yeah. it's pretty cool. Um, anyway, so Seems Personal 3, we've been hyping this one up for a little bit. Do It For Shane was kind of floating over Twitter. <laughs> um, so we have him with us. I mean, he's here. Right here. He's not, well, I mean, he's going to be here pretty soon. <laughs> right here. Fuck Lil Bert. I dude? guess many of those in. Saw. Saw, dude. Saw, I love dude. how you go straight to the point. Stuff that really matters. Fuck Lil Bert. Fuck Lil, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the important That's the main takeaway from these podcasts. Oh, we brought you all the way here just for you to say yeah. that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if I didn't get to say that, I wouldn't, I don't know if I would have been about this. Start a hashtag for sure. I think Andy already did. Yeah, Andy yeah. did it. I saw that. Yeah. Or he tweeted it. What's up, dude? Yeah. Not much, man. Yeah. How you guys been? We've Pretty been good, good man. We've good been living, it's working been hard. It's been a minute, dude. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Fat yeah. minute. Yeah. Prolonged minute. You should move back That's here. I would love to. Shane's with us today. Came out from Arizona this morning. When did you leave this morning? 6.30 a.m. Damn. 6.30 to film a podcast for you guys. It's a nasty drive. Yeah, knock, knock, that, knock that bitch out in four hours. <laughs> it used to take me like six when I first started doing it. Just 110 the whole way between Yuma and, <laughs> Yuma and El Centro. Nah, that's, that's crazy. Ain't no speed limit. Shit, I'm Shane cool. Stafford. I live currently in Phoenix, Arizona. It's terrible. Wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> that's it. Ooh, I ride bikes. Hey. Ride bikes a little bit here and there. And I'm biking. Watch out for the edge. I'm biking, I'm biking, I'm biking, I'm biking. Frank Ocean gets referenced a lot in this. Frank Ocean only drops good songs. The state of music at the moment is just shitty. Sh <laughs> shitty. Overall, it isn't very good. Do you guys hear Ugly Gods XXL freestyle though? No. no. <laughs> it was is it good? Of, it was the best out of all the rest, other than oh, like P and B and Nah. That was about, that's about it. Um, I, I made time of my day to not watch a Double XL Freshman Cipher, but you still gotta like, you still gotta watch it just for the culture. It's for the culture. You have to it's watch it. For the culture. I didn't even think about that. That just came out, right? <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. The freshman list. Okay, Playboy Cardi's is so wack. He literally, I, it might end his career. It's kind of to like the flow, the flow Ooh, of Magnolia, yeah. but new chopper, new chopper, new chopper, yeah, new chopper, new chopper, new chopper. It's all bad. <laughs> Isn't this a song? It's a song. Yeah. yeah, it's like they just pulled his ass out of bed and was like, freestyle now! And he was like, ah, oh, what? <laughs> he looks crusty as hell, too. Yeah. How, do you do How do you do that? And then you're like, How do you, yeah, yeah I, like, I fuck that with that. Good, that was yeah. tight. Like, nah, dude, that was, no, that was shit. <laughs> anyone in the room should be ashamed of themselves for not telling him how fucked up that yeah, was. Yeah, the guy filming is like just cringing. Yeah, the guy he's filming like, is oh, just, you think this he's is got good, earplugs in. He's like, I don't even want to hear this shit. The only good Playboy Cardi song was the one that was like an interlude where it was just ASAP Rocky. <laughs> that was the best one. That one was New the best song in Take Care is like Kendrick's interlude. Playboy Cardi arrested for domestic battery. Good. Good. The, literally, all these new rappers are like awkward, Big weird women and felons, dude. Yeah. Like, just what's his name? Like Kodak Black is like a Kodak, rapist. Yeah, ex Kodak Kyle. Fuck Kyle. <laughs> Not a fan of Kyle. Have you heard my Kyle impression? I can imagine it. Yeah, what? For really though, I'm so <laughs> silly though, and I just had a whole fucking bowl of Cheerios. Like, what? Oh, like, he sounds it. like a sassy white girl, but like, learn how to, she's <laughs> reading from a thesaurus. He looks like a combination of Drake and every white person. <laughs> Any white person. Like, he is yeah, happy though, child, but he's happy. Same with Lil Yachty, they're both happy, but I don't like their music. Yeah, fuck Lil Yachty, dude. Fuck Lil Yachty, fuck Lil <laughs> Uzi Vert, fuck Kyle. <laughs> it's out there. Don't at me. I'm not gonna lie, Ski Mask the Slump God. <laughs> I fuck with his shit. He has like the weirdest flow ever. Every single song has like a weird ass song. flow, but I like it. Because art is so subjective, <laughs> like music is so subjective, like it's, yeah. it's me being creative. And um, my friend Giovanni told me about this. Um, there's an artist that put memes. Yo, shout out G Money. In, 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 yeah, G Stacks. G Stacks. G Stacks was literally. G Money. G Money. <laughs> G Money. But he said there's this artist who had like memes in this gallery. Did he like make them up or are they just like. They're just Talk funny memes that he thought working. were credible. I mean, that's like, you could say that about like most art though. Yeah. That but I mean, that's just so half-assed yeah. though. Like, how did you book the venue and be like, we're going to put yeah. up these memes? <laughs> yeah, like, how, people how do you make it a real thing and then finish with that? <laughs> how like, confident are you in your shit that you're like, I invented this? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I invented <laughs> these memes and they're my ideas. Yeah. Pay me for it. I mean, it is like creating a new lane, but I mean, come on. Like, people were creating lanes back then. We're like, Hove, he's been the goat. 
He's like 54 and he still says, Young! He's like, <laughs> Hove! He ain't like 54. That's no. insulting. Oh, no, he's like, like insulting. He, he's in his 40s though, but for real. I'm like, hold on, let's put, let's put, let's get guesses real quick. 46. He I, dropped reasonable doubt could, 96 and I'm 20. 45. 45. Let's Google it. How old is Hove? He's 48. Jay Z's 48. Young! What you were saying about art being subjective and stuff. Yeah. Same thing with music, obviously. Very because subjective. We're talking mad shit on all these people, but I'm sure someone listening is like, oh, like. But I like Lil Uzi Vert with Lil Yachty. Yeah. <laughs> like beads. Yeah, it's like no matter what we're gonna say, you're gonna be mad. Someone's gonna be mad, so might as well just make it harsh and honest. Yeah. <laughs> the whole art thing, the hundreds just did the Jackson Pollock thing. That was really tight. It was really tight. Crazy shit. Jackson Pollock is like, if you don't know him, he's like the drip painter, so he just put canvas like on the ground and then basically just like poured paint over it in like weird patterns and stuff. And people said it was like revered art that was just beyond <laughs> the years. Cause I think it was, when was it like 1940s? Yeah, like 42 was like yeah. his first Yeah, and he one. was like an alcoholic and he had like mental problems and stuff, but. Any good he, artist like, is fucked up. And yeah, like, like Basquiat was all like strung out on heroin, but I'm like, you're yeah. such a young guy. Like he died when he was like 27 or something. Same with um, Kurt Cobain, like, you know, he was all like having problems. Oh, was he in the 27 Club? Yeah. Yeah. Don't want to join the 27 club. I gotta look that up. Mac Miller. <laughs> Shout out Mac Miller. Shout out Mac what Miller. Song that is, he went through a little phase through um, yeah, Faces. Nah. Faces, he made his best work ever when he was all fucked up on drugs. Nah, <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> if you can't appreciate Faces, yeah, you're sleeping. I didn't listen to it. Yeah, sleeping. It, it is a little down though. It's Dude, not it's like weird. It, and it's, it's not raw, a, but it's. It's, tough. it's not Pharrell's girl album, which which is just like, oh my god, dude. It, it it's like just sunshine. Like you can start the album, it's sunshine and bright colors and just depth. Rainbows. You know, it's not gonna cheer you up, but it's it's you know, it, it is edgy, it's gritty, he's kind of a dirt nug. Yeah, if you I'm haven't saying, checked out faces, check out faces. Honestly, his discography is like all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his he did a thing was so like I mean, just cool in terms of dude, like, yeah. sonically it's just so crazy, but compared to faces it's like night and day. Oh, yeah. What was it called? Divine Feminine? Yeah, that yeah, one. yeah. Still tight though. Like, it was a it's good, really sick. Good production, good album. But it's just like way different than anything else he had ever made. Which is cool. He's being different. He's yeah. not following stuff, but exactly. he's like, he's credible by like real rappers. Like Nas is like, yo, dog, Mac Miller. Yeah, no. Did you like, guys see the thing on Twitter where Jay Z was briefly on Twitter and shouted out all the rappers he thought were <laughs> Memphis in Memphis Bleak. Mac yeah. Miller was in there. Like, yeah, there's all kinds, but. I mean, he was in the control verse. Kendrick's in the control verse? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That See, colors. Kendrick, that pretty that up. much that pretty much uh, solidifies it. I understand there's gonna be some questions. Shame really, let me have it a little bit. <laughs> Stick it to me. We did OG day ones and affiliates tees. Those are for we gave them to people that like sport us from the jump. But this guy's like way OG, like sixth grade. Um, he was day working one. on his alleys because he came because <laughs> he came from <laughs> hey his alleys classic. He came from Michigan and had a funny accent. We made fun of him for it. People Allie. from Michigan don't have accents. Don't let them lie to you. This guy's very so credible with our company. He's a huge part of the growth on the YouTube channel and his YouTube channel. Uh, his old one. There's like all of our old video parts used to. Film. Shane definitely filmed uh, video parts with us. Um, he was like biking, he filmed bike parts, but like before that he was skating, you know, um, with our team. We were just obsession, like skate rats, Skate all of us, the blood. Um, so we have some questions, you know, for him. So um, I just kind of want to know your perception on how we've changed and how you've seen us from an, like you're still with us, but like an outside perspective of how you've seen our growth. And oh man. This, how we were this, growing up. Like it started out as just a bunch of kids playing. And like, you can look back at the, that first like team photo. Oh where it's man, like, that's on that's, Facebook. That's, yeah, no, cut it in here. Cut that shit in here. It's, right. it's necessary right. to see how long this has been a thing. Like that was the the OG <laughs> team photo. Yeah. It's like all of us, it's like seventh or eighth grade. That's the most like like gang we're dropping a mixtape photo I've yeah. ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> to go from like that to what you guys are doing now, it's unbelievable to see how fast and well it has grown to this point. Well thanks. I mean we, we really appreciate it. We try. It doesn't I to us it doesn't feel like that because well, you guys are the one putting in the hard work though. I'm just <laughs> witnessing it happen. So I thought we were just gonna like film videos for our entire lives. Like, yeah we didn't think we were next gonna... video <laughs> with all of us again. <laughs> Boy. I don't want to like take props and be like, oh yeah, I did this or me I'm, having I'm or giving you props. Like, you're allowed to take the props. Yeah, dude. Because you guys did that. And and nobody did can this. do it like us. And you, you were two of the only ones actually <laughs> we are the best making out. it a real thing. And it's like a real thing now. And it never would have been a real thing without you two. Actually, you know, probably without Jared. Because you, you know, kind of just like wrote me into it. Yeah, like, dude, <laughs> we should like make this like a real brand and stuff. And I was like, dude, I'm just trying to skate. Honestly. And then, <laughs> no, I. <laughs> he's got sucked in there. Yeah. I mean, I really enjoy it now, but. At, at the moment, he was like, dude, we should make this like a real thing and like blah, blah. And I was like, <laughs> all right, dude, I'm super down. And then I think everyone kind of bailed on like that idea. And like people kind of bailed on parts too. 
Yeah, on video. Everyone kind of like went their own way and stuff. Yeah, we did like two videos though. That was I'm trying. I'm benchmark. I, st I still have an unfinished part on someone's computer somewhere that I'm trying to draw. I had one too, and Andy just <laughs> yeah. like threw it on Instagram. He was like, "Here's some clips of Evan." Yeah. And I was like, "No, <laughs> spoiler!" Like, literally, it's we were we would go film clips. Like we would try like Manny stuff. We would do lines in a rancho and a poncho. We literally filmed we would play stuff. Play the nachos. I'm just trying that to. That was like not even no rational person who skateboarded would have filmed something where we filmed stuff. It's just all we had to work oh, with. Yeah. So we were it's like, here's like, this little like ledge ledge thing. It's like a ledge this big. To another ledge To another this ledge big. this big down. And it's like, <laughs> Jared Kickflip Nose Manual did, I think, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. I have a clip somewhere. I did I it's on my laptop. nothing that cool on it. We literally, all we did was play games of skate. It was like, dude, this is our 60th game of skate swear today. To and God. it's like, to this day, so over it. that's like, why the only thing I can skate well is flat ground. Yeah. So like, if I try and like get on top of something, I'm gonna eat yeah. shit. But I can do like flat ground tricks all day. Park yeah. rats, though. Like, I yeah. I go yeah, to, I go to skate rats. park every day, and there's these little kids on BMX bikes doing truck drivers and 360 tail ups and shit. But like, they can't grind like a box. Yeah. Just because they don't have the muscle to get it up. It's yeah. just they're park rats. And yeah. That's we spent so much time working on flat ground tricks. You know, we dedicated so much time, so we were just like, you know, kid flip, figgy flip, heel flip, figgy heel. Like we had a rotation, like. So what's your take? I mean, we, we did it before on the state of like streetwear and skatewear and how oh, would you view man. our company as being in that category? I don't, I wouldn't consider you guys streetwear at all because you don't uh, drop anything that's got holes on it. <laughs> <laughs> like that is like destroyed. Apparently that's sure. like distressed. Yeah. <laughs> that's like the, the defining line for me of like streetwear, hype beast, bullshit. Those that. three words go very well. I don't, I don't know yeah. a whole lot about the topic, but I'm not a fan of anything that's like destroyed any of those like drop crotch shit it's like you're not yeah, sagging but you're sagging yeah it looks exactly. like you're sagging but you're not yeah like, didn't they sell a brick they did sell a brick wasn't it like 30 dollars a clay brick, brick that broke in the mail oh, i saw a picture it's like this is what you do when you buy a supreme brick dumbasses <laughs> they were they're just like what weird obscure oddball thing can we put supreme on and will people buy it and they're like a brick for a sure because what could you do with a brick that's what you yeah, do yeah. with supreme yeah supreme flex. is flex culture like I, I don't necessarily hate supreme i mean they're i'm getting there but like i don't hate <laughs> them as a, as a whole because We're they have like man. in their photo shoots they have like jason dill and all these people that like started in new york yeah so they're like core skaters that work at their stores and they started the brand but like it's the people that how they perceive it and how they're turning it into this other thing i talked about it before exactly this is the it's the fans of supreme that are hype beastie that don't skate that just buy it just because it looks good with their yeezys that they force their parents to spend two thousand dollars on they're exploiting the culture <laughs> yeah are you planning on doing another part another video part i'm planning on doing one me which is like insane i don't know how i'm gonna ever do that because i suck but yeah. i have one clip but <laughs> yeah i would love to i think it would be great no part clips that's the goal yeah street, only, only street, street things i've got part clips for days i would absolutely love to actually now now the end it's attainable someone it's a possibility yeah but now that i have someone to film with shout out andy right, well, shout we're out gonna, andy. we're gonna look out for that and press you for it shane where's the part at yes let's just push me and i'll get it i'll yeah. get there yeah my standards are higher than my skills so like yeah. <laughs> anything i can do i'm gonna think it's shitty and yeah. anything i want to do i can't do so all right, guys, we'd like to um, definitely thank Shane Stafford for coming out. Always good time. Jeez. Why did I just talk like that? That wasn't how people talk. <laughs> Always good time. I'm not going to be able to do this again. New one, new one. Thank you guys for OG having me. Member. Having me in the studio. Always. No, I really appreciate it. The studio. The studio. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll have another one with Shane on it. Hit oh. the like button if you want me back. Comment if you want it back. Like saying shit. Comment if you want Shane back. Do it for Shane on Twitter. Hashtag do it for Shane. And... We'll have him back on the show. Yeah, definitely thanks for coming out. Thank you guys for watching if you watched this far. <laughs> it's probably gonna be a longer one than usual. Yeah, so follow us on everything. Watch out for Shane's part. 20, follow Shane 20, on 2020. <laughs> yeah, in a couple years. 2020. Uh, definitely have him being in a lot more content. I mean, you're gonna be in the lookbook, so oh. I'm excited for that. Probably the whole collection is gonna be out by the time you guys are seeing this so uh if you watched this far go online buy some shit please yeah get your size before they're all gone read our blogs all that good stuff go watch the other two podcasts if you didn't already no you guys are making it true we're trying all right yeah subscribe proceed to check out because we're the best out Props. Gang. peace what was that fuck lil uzi bird <laughs> <laughs>